Hi you guys, it's Lindsay here and as promised, if you saw my life update video, um, I'm here with June favorites. Um, I know that it's been a while since I posted a favorites video, um, but I think I have some really cool things to show y'all. Um, so let's just jump right in. The first thing, I don't know, you guys might have seen this, you might have not. I don't know how many of you follow the indie pattern makers or anything like that but Colette um well let's back up so when I went to New York City with Amber uh gosh what was that two or three months ago um I decided that I was going to bring a backpack um to help us carry all the fabric we bought and our phones and our backup chargers and just all that stuff that you need for a day in the city um so um I had one and it's just black it's boring and it's one of those that you get for free at like a conference so it had like all these logos like on the front and it was just like not cute like not feeling it for New York so I put a piece of fabric over the the logos and I ended up finding a whole bunch of these enamel pins that I had collected and buttons that I had gotten from um, stash folder box and all these kinds of things so I started putting all this flair all over the backpack and I was like this is actually really cute and a lot of fun so um while I was in New York I was looking for enamel pins and actually really came up short um we went to MNJ trimming which I thought for sure would have a ton but and they had some but they were all like I don't know they were like weird things like things that I wouldn't want to put <laughs> on my backpack um things that I guess if you like really loved cats or like you really loved pizza or like they were that specific you know what I mean and there weren't any sewing ones at all so I was just like hmm this is kind of lame um so I've been on the lookout for enamel pins ever since then um Colette had a few of them and they just released I think four more and I got two of them which I'm really excited about actually I got one of the old designs and one of the new designs that's what I ended up doing um so um I ended up getting, this is the, one of the old designs, it's a seam ripper that says no regrets, which I just think is so cute and so poignant and such a cute little cheeky pun. I don't know, I just think it's really cute and I also like how big it is. This is probably two, two and a half inches. Um, I don't have a ruler nearby, but um, this is really big, so I like that it's large because you know backpack is big and you have to kind of fill it up um it's really pretty rose gold i mean they even got the detail of the red ball on the um seam ripper um yeah so it's just really cute i just love this one um a lot and i think these are like ten dollars each maybe so i got that and then i also got one and i'm sort of surprised when it arrived um but it's one that says measure what is it <laughs> you think I know this measure twice cut once which is sort of like a I think a um like a wood shop rule but it also really applies to sewing too and the most interesting part about this one is it's actually two separate pins like they aren't connected to each other at all so you can put them as far apart as you want or as close together as you want um you could do like one on each side um you could do you could mix it up and do whatever you want so that is really cool that they decided to do that um again two pins but it's still ten dollars because it's like one set i guess but they have a lot of really other cute ones um off the top of my head there was one with those little bird scissors which are so 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 cute um yeah there's a lot of good ones there so if you are into enamel pins um check out colette's selection i mean the price is a little much ten dollars a piece but honestly like i feel like i've looked around and haven't found any sewing related ones that are like cool enough you know and these are really good quality they're not chintzy or thin they're not going to bend um or break even on a backpack that you that i'd be tossing around a bunch so a little bit of an investment but i think 100 percent worth it so the colette enamel pens is my first favorite for june okay so the next one let's see i was 
going down the Instagram vortex, the hole of death, where you're just like scrolling through Instagram and then you click on someone that's tagged and then you click on, you scroll through their page and you click on someone that they've tagged and you scroll through there and you keep going and going and going. And I ended up on this woman named Claire's page and Claire owns a company called Luna Graphics Co. It's an Etsy shop where she produces acrylic, precision cut acrylic tools um, for sewing. And so I reached out to her and she sent me, um, I think every product that she has, um, which was really cool, super generous. Two of them I'm gonna talk about in another video little tease um but the one that i want to talk about today is her button fly guide and these are them um there is two versions there's one for one what is it for three quarter inch all the way up to one and a half inches depending on which one you use and they're just these acrylic things they have right they have white writing on one side for dark fabrics and dark writing on the other side for light fabrics really well thought out there um and they have so basically you would line this line up i don't know which side y'all can see better but there's a line going down the center here and you would line that up with the like edge of your fly and then you draw this line in you trace this line in this is your top stitching line um, then there are also these button guides. So if you have a three quarter inch button, here is your, um, your button hole. And then here is the marking for your actual button so that they, you know, line up nicely. And there's one for three quarter inch, five eighths inch and half an inch, right? Yep. Um, and on here, yeah, they're the same. Um, there are also holes in the top of them so that you can hang them like you know your other quilting rulers all have holes in them um, So yeah, these are just super cool like as you're going to make shorts this summer as we inevitably will or like the alley skirt um, <clears throat> from blue dot sews or jean jeans if you making jeans in the summer it's way too hot for jeans here but anyways as you're going to do that you know you get those pattern pieces um which are nice but they aren't always super accurate and i have found i can't remember if it was the colette jeans or maybe a big four pattern i don't think it was the shy town chinos but um anyways one of them when i went to sew the the top stitching it didn't catch the bottom of it in i don't know if i did something wrong or if it was measured wrong but either way these are going to prevent that from happening they are very durable made of plastic um so you know that you're going to get an accurate buttonhole or a top stitching and super accurate buttonholes with this obviously the buttonhole guide works for any kind of waistband that has a button um, it's not just for pants. So skirts that have a, a button front, um, a tab, you know, you've seen a tab, like, um, I don't know, any of those kinds of things these would be good for. So, so yeah, I think she, I mean, obviously all this is made in America, which is great. I think she's in Texas, possibly Plano, Texas. Um, so it, you know, it is a independent company run by one woman who, obviously loves to sew and has really thought out some really cool tools that aren't already in the market um which is awesome so fully support what she's doing um so go check out her etsy shop i think it's called luna graphics co um i had it pulled up here yeah luna graphics which is g-r-a-f-i-x co c-o um and her name is claire cochran and you can see these and um, all the other products that she has. These are 20 bucks. You get two of them with your order. So they're $10 each and they're really cool and really helpful as you're making shorts or anything with a fly. So check these out all for accuracy and sewing. And I think that, that this is really nails that. Speaking of accuracy, let's talk a little bit about bias tape. Um, let's talk a little bit about 
really expensive ways to make bias tape. Um, the next thing I'm about to show you, I don't expect everybody to just run out and get. It's actually kind of hard to get. Um, but I saw it on Emily Hallman's Instagram. She has a great Instagram. Her Instagram stories are so awesome. She's a great teacher. Lots of tutorials there. So if you like that kind of stuff, um, go find Emily. She demonstrated a bias tape maker on one of her Instagram stories. And I thought, I have to have that. So it's a really simple contraption where you take your one inch cut bias strips, whatever you have. Um, you roll it on this thing and then, can y'all see this? And then it rolls off up here onto the bias tape maker and then through this thing underneath here, like this comes off and it, it goes under here onto this plate, which is normally heated. And then over this like rubber roller thing and out the other side. And when it comes out, it is perfectly folded, single fold bias tape. Like it's amazing. Um, the problem is, is that this was made by Simplicity and then they discontinued it. And I'm not exactly sure why, but my suspicion tells me that someone got hurt um, because this thing gets super hot and if you leave it plugged in and a kid comes in, it kind of looks like a toy. That's what I'm thinking happened. And so they were like, this is not worth, you know, the risk of getting sued and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so they discontinued it. That is, I just made that up. I have no idea if that's the real reason why they discontinued it or not. Simplicity, if you're watching, let everyone know because we are all dying to know why we can't get this um, more easy. But as with supply and demand, basic economics, there aren't that many of these in the market anymore. I think that they used to sell for $50 and I had to pay $150 to get this one. And I know a lot of you out there are rolling your eyes like it's just bias tape you know, use a iron or whatever, but I'm not good at that. Like it never comes out right. Um, Amber, uh, so I sewed this, my friend Amber, you've all seen her. She is like a pro at it and all of her stuff looks super professional. And every time I do it, I always have raw edges coming out after I wash it. It's never even like it sucks. So I thought I would invest in this and at the very least, get to tell you that it helps or it doesn't help. Um, I have played around with it and it's awesome and it does make great bias tape. You do have to, as, the same way if you were just using the um, bias tape maker and an iron on your ironing board, you, know, you have to cut the pieces accurately. They have to be a consistent one inch or you know whatever, however the width is um, for your project. Um, but other than that, like it's super simple and super fast. It takes seconds for it to warm up. There are different settings for different kinds of fabric. So like your cotton will be hotter than your nylons and your silk so it doesn't burn your fabrics. Um, but I want to do like a little test with different weights of fabric, different um, substrates of fabric, just to really see like how great this thing really is. So when I do that, I'll be sure to film it and upload it. Um, so yeah, this is the Simplicity Bias Tape Maker. I don't even have a link for you to go get this. Um, I got mine on eBay. I would recommend going there. Um, you can find them on Amazon, but they're like $400. Don't pay $400 for this. Even I wouldn't, and I am pretty spontaneous and clearly very frivolous with my money sometimes. <laughs> um, so don't do that, but go onto eBay, find some, there are lots of people out there who got these and then never used them or didn't like them or stopped sewing since then and they're selling them. So go find someone like I did. So I think that the rules to follow on eBay um, are make sure that they have um, lots of ratings and are, those are overall positive ratings. Um, that's important, but also I think the biggest thing is just to make sure that they accept returns. Um, if they don't accept a return, then it's almost like they aren't vouching for the product, that they don't believe in it, and there's like something questionable about why they wouldn't take it back from you. You know what I mean? So I always looked, I only shop from places that accept returns. Um, so look out for that whenever you're shopping on eBay, and I think you'll probably be fine. I mean, eBay has like support for customers like that, but it only goes so far. And of course it's frustrating and it's a lot of work to have to go through that. So yeah, like I said, you can get them on Amazon if you want like 
to be for sure um but it's expensive so that's it for today again i have the colette enamel pins Ooh, are they gonna stay and then i have the luna graphics co's um button fly guides and the simplicity bias tape maker so those are my june favorites um, I hope you like them. If you've used any of these things and can vouch for their awesomeness, please leave the information in the comments. I know a lot of the other viewers do look at the comments and read what you guys have to say. So go ahead and go for that. Um, and if you haven't tried any of these before, go check them out. I will have links in the description box. Here's how you access the description box, whether you're on a desktop or whether you're on a mobile device. Um, I know it can be a little confusing sometimes exactly where to click, um, but I always, always have information in the description box. I almost always put what I'm wearing in there. I know I get a lot of comments asking about what I'm wearing and it's always in the description box. So just no matter what, if you're looking for more information, go there first. And if you can't find it, then um, leave me a comment and I will get back to you on that. So that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I am so excited to be back and doing another favorites video for you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.